Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I'm bringing you my ultimate beginner's guide video to artifacts in Genshin Impact. Now if you guys enjoyed today's video and want to see more videos like this, then make sure to like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, today's video is solely focusing on beginners to the game. People that are just jumping into the game for the very first time and don't know necessarily how to build, where to find, and what artifacts are. And so, today's video we're going to go through, I'm going to break down what artifacts are, where to find your artifacts, and then I'll give you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to build your characters properly so you're not wasting a bunch of material. So the first thing we're going to talk about is exactly what are artifacts. Now there's a total of five different artifacts that you can collect in this game. You've got your Flowers of Life, your Plume of Death, the Sands of Eon, the Goblet of Eonothem, and then the circlet of logos. Now each artifact has a different rarity attached to them. They can be all the way from one star all the way to a maximum of five star. Now the higher rarity a artifact is, the higher the level that artifact can be upgraded to. A one star artifact can only be upgraded to plus four. A two star can be upgraded to plus eight. A three star can be upgraded to plus 12. A four star can be upgraded all the way up to plus 16 with a five star being able to be upgraded all the way up to plus 20. Now, obviously the higher you upgrade your specific artifacts, the stronger they become. However, there is substats and stats attached to each of the artifacts. Now the main stat attached to each of the artifact is different based off of what artifact you have attached. Now for the flowers of life, their main stat will always be HP. The higher the rarity of that artifact, the higher the base main stat is for that artifact. For example, a plus zero upgraded flower of life starts at 430. However, a plus zero four star starts at 645. So the main stat for that specific artifact is higher the higher the rarity of that specific artifact. So for flowers of life, the main stat will always be HP. And then for Plumes of Death, the main stat will always be Attack. Now for these other ones, it's a little bit different. For the Sands of Eon, the main stat can actually be different uh, for each different artifact that you find. So for example, this first one has Attack, my secondary one has Energy Recharge, and so forth. So the main stats that the Sands of Eon can have are HP, Defense Percentage, Attack Percentage, Elemental Mastery, and Energy Recharge. Now for the Goblet of Enothem, the main stats that these ones can have are HP, Defense Percentage, Attack Percentage, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Damage Bonus Percentage, and Physical Damage Bonus Percentage. And then for the final one, the Circlet of Logos, the main stat can be HP, Defense Percentage, Attack Percentage, Elemental Mastery, Crit Rate Percentage, Crit Damage Percentage, and healing bonus. So depending on how you want to build your characters, you're going to want to focus on these main stats, specifically when it comes to upgrading them. Because when you go through and you upgrade those specific artifacts, the only stat that will for sure upgrade every single time will be the main stat. So for example here, I have Kai. If I want to improve his overall attack, I'm going to want to find different artifacts that have the attack percentage uh, as their main stat for that specific artifact. So this Berserker's Battle Mask is perfect because the main stat is attack at 24.1%. If I were to go ahead and enhance this specific artifact, the stat that is going to be enhanced is the attack stat. These other ones will not be enhanced. However, there is a chance they can be enhanced once you get to certain stages. So at plus four, every time it goes up by plus four, plus eight, plus 12, all the way up to plus 20, there's a chance that you'll either get a new substat or one of your current substats will be upgraded. However, there is a limit to how many substats a specific artifact can have. Now, I have a four star, which actually has a total of four substats, which is actually pretty rare for a four star item. Usually they have some around two to three, but I was able to, uh, lucky enough that as I went through and upgraded it, I was able to get a new elemental substat or a new substat attached to it. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna equip a couple of these and see if we can't go ahead and enhance it all the way up to at least plus 12. Now, there is a chance that when you're going through and you're upgrading specific artifacts, that the amount of experience that you get for upgrading that artifact could be doubled or even times five. So this could go up to like 11,000, 12,000 total experience points uh, that will be uh, taken away from some of my other artifacts to upgrade it. Now, one of the things you're gonna wanna really worry about when it comes to the artifacts and upgrading them 
is how many other artifacts that you have. Because in order to upgrade an artifact, you have to sacrifice any other artifacts that you have in order to do so. Now, I will have some tips at the end of this video talking about how you should go about upgrading your different artifacts so that you're not wasting time and resources on artifacts that are not going to help you out. So we can tell that my attack stat has been increasing as I've been upgrading it, but now it says randomly upgrades one bonus attribute. So let's go ahead and enhance it. It's at plus 12. And then it's going to tell us, so my attack has increased. And then one of my substats was randomly increased as well. So my defense went up, which is, which is great. So those are the basics that you need to understand when it comes to the artifact system in the game with uh, how the basic stats for the artifact work, the main stats and all of the subset, subsets. Now let's go ahead and talk about the different sets in this game. There are a lot of different sets. And when you go through and you equip them, you'll get a bunch of bonus attributes and a bonus stats as you go through them. So you can see the list of all the different uh, all the different types of sets that you have in the game currently collected. There's a huge list of them online if you want to go through and find out uh, what uh, which one of these different sets gives you which specific bonuses and which ones you should go ahead and farm for. But today's video, we're just specifically going to talk about uh, the main ones that you're going to get in the game and how the artifact system works when you equip certain ones on. So for example, right here, I have a full set of Berserkers equipped onto my Kaya. Now, if I have two uh, of my artifacts from the Berserker set equipped onto Kaya, I'll get the crit rate increase of plus 12%. If I have a total of four of them equipped, I will get this uh, additional one right here. When HP is below 70%, crit rate increases by an additional 24%. Now, one of the things that I do do want to clarify, it's a simple thing, but just because I have four of them equipped, I'm not going to get a double bonus of that two piece right here. It'll just go straight up to the four piece set bonus. So do keep that in mind. But you'll notice that there are five artifact slots equipped onto my character, which means is one of those artifact sets going to be wasted? Am I not going to get some additional bonuses? There are sets in the game that you'll be able to find that only require you to have one piece from that artifact, artifact set. And those are the ones that have the prayers in front of them. So if you see any of the sets in the game that have prayers for blank, that means that set will give you the one piece set affected by Electro 40% less. So if I were to go ahead and equip that one onto Kaya here and not mess up any of my Berserker sets, then I'll have a total of three extra bonuses attached onto my Kaya which is great. And so do pay attention to that on how you kind of want to go through and upgrade and which of the different sets that you want for uh, specific characters. Now, my Kaya here, I've been really focusing on high attack rate and high crit rate. And so this is a perfect set for me to go. Now, if you want to get a closer look at all the different stats that you're going to get from your artifacts, there's this awesome button right here, artifact details, go ahead and click on it. And it'll let you know all the bonuses that you're getting specifically from that artifact set. And so if there's something that you want to do, if there's something that you want to focus on to improve your character's designs and stuff like that, this is a great place to go to figure it out. So if I want to go through and improve some of my crit rate and crit damage, then this is a great way to see, okay, maybe I need to kind of go through and look at what I need to change in order to improve that. However, it's not going to take into account your different set bonuses. If you want to go ahead and take a look at that, make sure to go and click on the details page under your main character, and then you'll see the bonuses that you get from all of your artifacts equipped onto your character, all the extra bonuses. And so that's something I did notice in the game that might confuse some people. So if you want to see the full effect of your artifacts, make sure to click on your full like your full details list right here. However, if you want to just get a close look at what the base stats are and not worry about the set bonuses, this is the place that you're going to want to go ahead and take a look at, which we will talk about this in just a second on how to build your characters properly. Now, when it comes to actually going about and collecting artifacts in this game, the best way to do that is actually going to be through, sorry, is going to be through domains. So if we go ahead and take a look at the domains, you can actually see which domains have specific artifacts attached to them. So there's a couple of flowers of life there. If we were to scroll down, we can see a couple more down here. And so if you're curious as to where to kind of go through and find certain artifacts, this is a great way to go and find a lot of really great ones. Other ones that you can get to are actually from bosses in the game. Another really fantastic way to go through and collect artifacts is to take down different bosses and they'll have a chance of actually dropping artifacts for you that you'll collect. You can also find them through chests. You can find them basically anywhere in the game. They're, you're going to find artifacts everywhere. But the best way to go through and actually grind through and get the artifacts every single day is through bosses and through do the domains. So do pay attention to that. This is a great way to find artifacts in this game. If you can't find any, if you want to go through and find some rare ones and stuff like that, I highly recommend going through and doing domains and boss battles, and you'll be able to find lots of really great artifacts very quickly. 
Now let's go ahead, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips and tricks on how to build certain characters. And for an example, I'm gonna focus on Noelle because I feel like I built Noelle almost perfectly without having to waste any resources. Now whenever you get a brand new character in the game, I highly recommend before you do anything with them to take a look at their talents. Because the talents of each of the different character will give you a huge hint on how to build those specific characters. So if I were to go through and take a look at all the different um, all the different abilities and stuff that Noel has in the game, it will actually give me a lot of information that I need to know if I want to make sure that she is built properly. So one of the best examples is right here. So um, summons protective stone armor, dealing geo damage to surrounding enemies and creating a shield. The shield's damage absorption scales based on Noel's defense. So that's one first clue is defense is really, really important for Noel. Another one is going to come down to this one where it says increase attack that scales based on her defense. And so this is such a great, she does so much damage for me, but I have not built any damage on this character. She has really low attack, really low damage everywhere, but because of her ultimate ability and because of the way that I built her, she does a lot of damage. And so there's another clue, increase attack that scales based on her defense. And then the final one I want to talk about is right here where it creates a shield that lasts for 20 seconds and absorbs damage equal to 400% of Noelle's defense. So clearly defense is a really, really important stat for Noelle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the artifacts that I currently have equipped onto her. Now you'll notice this one's at plus zero, plus nine, plus eight, plus zero, and plus nine. And the reason why some of them are at plus zero is because I don't wanna waste any time or any of my um, any of my materials upgrading things that are not going to help me out at all. Now this one that I have currently attached onto her gives me elemental mastery, which is a really key. Now this is actually, uh, this plume of, of death was one that I actually upgraded from another character. Now because plumes of death are always going to have uh, attack stats, it's not really that important for her to have. But the reason why I have this specific one attached is because it gives me elemental mastery, which is a great skill for Noel to use. Now let's go ahead and actually focus on some of the other ones that I currently have attached onto her. And now this is where you're gonna kinda come into place on how you can use artifacts that you don't need to upgrade, but will give you amazing bonuses. Now you'll notice for this one right here, I have it at plus zero. I don't have it upgraded at all. But the reason why I have this one equipped is because it gives me the lucky dog set right here, which is the first two piece set defense increases by 100. That is a great stat to have for her. Now, yeah, it does give me defense plus eight, which is fine. And then I've also got the HP. If I wanted to, I could go through and upgrade it and give me some increased HP, but it is a three star. It's giving me the stat that I want. So I don't really need to go through and upgrade it because I'm not really worried too much about HP for her. I'm mainly worried about defense. Now I do have a couple of other really great uh, flowers of life that I could, you know, equip onto her. This one gives me some increased defense by plus, you know, 5.3 plus 5.3 right here, but it's not giving me any bonuses for the sets that I actually want for this character. So I'm just gonna leave it at this and I'm not gonna upgrade it at all. I've got my set, I don't need any more upgrades, I'm not gonna waste any more materials, I've got what I needed. So if we go ahead and take a look at some of the other ones I've got, this is another one that I chose to keep at plus zero because it's just giving me that base defense increase right here. And so once I go through and I actually find a better one that has the same lucky dog set that's at a higher quality probably like a four star or something then i'll probably go through and i'll swap them and uh, get her some better sets but honestly i just need the defense i'm not going to worry about anything else now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other ones i've got currently equipped now you'll notice she actually doesn't have a lot of uh set bonuses towards or her i've got the defense and the elemental mastery but I want to focus on the deep. I specifically want to focus on defense and she's getting a pretty decent bonus from defense right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at my uh, artifacts again and the ones I currently have equipped, such as the Bloodstained Chevalier's Goblet, which is giving me a ton of defense, 25.7%. So this is one that is directly focused on upgrading her specifically because of that increase to defense. So this is one that I can focus on enhancing because I know every single time that I enhance it, I'm not going to be wasting materials. It's going to go to enhancing something that actually works for this character and not something, for example, like the attack one. I'm not going to focus on upgrading the attack for this one. This was actually just, like I said, this was one I got from a different character that gave me that elemental mastery. So I was like, ah, I'll take it. I'll swap it over. But if I could get a better one, I definitely will. So again, so the defense stat right there, I've got another defense stat right here. This is only a three star, but if I go and look at any of my four stars, 
none of them are going to help me out. So I'm going to stick to my three star because it's giving me that defense uh, increase. So if we go ahead and take a look at her attributes, her details, I'm getting a total of 485 bonus defense for her, pushing her all the way up to 892 defense. And I didn't even have to waste any materials at all. Like I said, with all the artifacts I had, the only ones I had to personally upgrade for her to get her set up and ready to go was the Bloodstained Chevalier's Goblet so I can increase the defense and the Instructor's Cap. The only other the other ones I have, I just kept at plus zeros. I don't need to waste materials on those. And this was one I grabbed from another character. And so I didn't have to waste any, any other artifacts upgrading this character because I focused on that singular stat that she needs, which is defense. And so another great one to know is as you go through and you upgrade each of your artifacts, the higher rarity an artifact is, the more it's going to cost to upgrade them. So at this point, if I'm like, how do I want to upgrade Noelle? What can I do to increase her overall stats and try to push her defense above 900? I probably don't want to focus on the Goblet of Eonothem because even though that's given me a lot of stats and as I upgrade it, this will increase faster than this one. Let's say I don't want to waste my materials just yet. I still need to go out and do some farming and stuff. I'll probably want to focus on this one next. So let's go ahead and see if we can't upgrade this one and push it up to at least 12. So you can see my defense is increasing, which is great. Again, 27%, and then just one more. Adds one new bonus attribute. Let's do it. And just hope that we get a defense one. We got energy recharge, which is actually really good. So we got it up to maximum of 12. It's a three star. We've spent the materials that I needed. I've got the maximum amount I can get out of this one. And so from now on, because she does so great, because I built her correctly, I don't really have to waste a lot of materials and trying to upgrade other things. Once I find a four star or a five star artifact that is genuinely better than this one, then I can just swap it out, use this one as fodder to improve the new one and probably get my new one to a higher stat uh, bonus than the current one I ha have on. It's a great way to make sure that you guys aren't wasting your materials. We can go ahead and take a look at her full stats now. And we have her defense all the way up to 914 which just makes her absolutely amazing. She's so good, you guys. She does so much damage, all because I focused on one singular stat, which is defense. So again, my suggestion is, is if you get any brand new characters to take a look at their talents, see what their talents say, and it'll give you a good direction on how to build that specific character. So guys, thanks so much for watching. My name's Coolio. Hopefully you guys enjoy this Seems ultimate beginner's guide to artifacts and these tips and tricks and exactly how the artifact system works. Guys, thanks so much for watching. My name's Coolio, and I'll see you next time.